Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Rin Weissen, and today I will be showing you guys how to give your horse a bath. So I first just like to take a curry comb and I will go along their neck in circular motions and just kind of scrub off all any of the dirt that might be stuck on there or skin and you just kind of prep it. So then come in with the brush and then you're just going to kind of in the direction of their hair come in and just brush it all off. And this will prepare it so that you don't have to scrub as hard when you're using the soap and water. Hi, Red. I'm now gonna take the hose and we're gonna just spray her all off, get her all wet. Um, my horse in particular doesn't mind her hair face getting wet, but there are a lot of horses out there that don't love water on their face. So, if they don't like water on their face, I will then take a sponge and I will wet the sponge and I will just kind of like come along their face and just wipe it down with the sponge and their face all nice and clean. Oh, hi. Yes, that felt great. Thank you. <laughs> She's telling me thank you. <laughs> but so now I'm going to go ahead and just spray her off. Oh, okay. Yes. Hi. Oh, okay. Yes, that was your face. Just an empty kind of smaller bucket we're gonna fill it with some soap just like two or three pumps I would say just enough so then when you take your water put it on a kind of stronger so that when you spray it into the bucket you can make bubbles with it so you're trying to mix up all the water and the soap together Good. I'm now going to take the brush from earlier and we're just going to put it in the water and then I'm going to come over here. Putting it in the bucket, you can do it with the, just the soap if you don't have a bucket, but I like doing it with the bucket because it conserves one, soap, and two, I think you can spread it around a little better. Come in, just kind of scrub it, give them a neck massage, neck scratch with your brush, brush to get all the dirt and grime out of their skin that is still left from after we curried them. Don't be afraid to get in there a little hard and like scrub. Yes. Right. Oh, she likes that. When horses sneeze or let out let out breaths of air, that's them saying that they're listening to you and they're liking what they're doing. So you see how she's now chomping with her mouth? That's showing that she's liking what I'm doing. Make sure to get their legs nice and well because that's where a lot of dirt likes to hang out. I'm now going to come over here and do the other side and switch sides. I don't like putting soap on their face just because I don't want it to get in their eyes. So I just will take a rag and scrub their face with just a rag to get all the little dirt and sweat that hides behind their ears. She in particular loves her ears scratched. Oh, look at that. I get, but there are horses I've met and a couple that I've had that do not like their ears touched. So if they don't like their ears touched, just kind of be gentle and calm and soft with it. And over time, as you do little bits with them at a time, their ears will become desensitized and they'll let you more. Yeah, nice big stretch. She's kind of a squirmy pant, so she doesn't like sitting still very long, if you haven't noticed. gone around and scrubbed all of it. I'm now going to take what's left in the bucket and just dump it along her back. Take my scrub brush again. Oh, sorry, Red. Watch out. I'm going to scrub what I dumped on into her back. For a mane and tail, I'm now going to take the water again. And while that soap sits on her neck and on her body, I'm now going to take the water just on light and just wet her mane and her tail and take my soap a pump or two and just kind of like rub it in your hand and just 
scrub it into their mane. Give them a good head massage. Getting on the tail. Get it nice and clean. And take a little and just kind of scrub it. Her tail, her dock, which is the tailbone, will get really dry and itchy. So I like to just scrub that shampoo in there nice and good. Give her a good itch. Don't. Now that we have all of her mane scrubbed and all of the soap on her, we're now going to take the hose. And while I do her mane, and I'm just gonna have it on a light kind of drizzle. And don't be afraid to get wet. You're bathing a your horse, you're gonna get a little wet. It's gonna go down your arms, but. Okay, now that I did the mane, we're gonna turn it up a little bit and just kind of, don't be afraid to get some pressure. board she has a very wanting to do stuff and not just kind of sit here kind of personality and so now that I am done rinsing off all that shampoo and making sure all of the soap is off of her I'm not gonna take some conditioner and I don't put conditioner on her fur but I will put it in her mane and tail just kind of soften it make it nice and thick mane you don't need a ton for the tail I do like to use quite a bit more just cuz I'm a fan of a nice thick healthy tail so I just kind of come in with my fingers. Just kind of do it how you would do it on your own hair. <laughs> Stinker. Do you like the smell of that conditioner? Do you like the oils in it? Yes. You've got a white nose. <laughs> oh, watch out. putting it in the mane we're gonna let that sit there while I move on to the tail okay now that we've finished putting the conditioner in the mains and you know, then it'll take some water stick the hose and just rinse it out give a good finger combing through it as you rinse it out and just kind of brush through it tuning in with me today and not going along with me as I gave my horse red a bath um let me know if there's any questions or oh <laughs> she's saying bye hi yes hello and let me know if there's any questions and stay tuned till next week bye